the man, welcome to this Facebook uh, on a live show, uh, the last of the month, but we will continue until June and I have one super guest and his super translator today, but just first I would like to say to Igor Sayenko, hello, who is the first one who arrived on the chat and it was Igor Sayenko who was playing the first music created by Vladimir Zubitsky homage of Piazzolla and Piazzolla you will listen today a lot because Jovica Ivanovic is a big fan of Piazzolla and all his music but also of Galliano you will see hello my friends you are here with me in zoom Jovica hello Igor hello <laughs> so Jovica is the first time I met you we are friends on Facebook since years we follow each other all the time but uh, I was uh, thinking that but this man is perfect for a live show. So welcome. I'm happy. And uh, where are you living now? Uh, yes, I'm trained in Austria for five years after I was released after a few studies in Hanover. So um, I, I'm living at the moment in Austria and, uh, uh, since uh, five years. Uh, so I was studying before in Hanover, in Germany, and uh, since five years I'm in, in Austria. Okay, so you were doing your study in uh, Hanover with Elsbeth Moser, I think. Tako je, da. Studirao sam kod Elsbeth Moser, bio sam tamo 2006. do 2015. godine. Studirao sam Bachelor i Master studiju, da. Yes, I was, uh, of course, a student of uh, Elizabeth Moser, and uh, I was in Hanover from 2006 to 2015, and uh, I studied there bachelor and my bachelor and master's studies. studies. <clears throat> okay, and so you got these degrees, and after that you decided to stay in uh, Austria or in this part of Europe? Još stvarno ne znam kako će moj životni put dalje da se odvija. Planovi su neki možda da se vratim ponovo za Hanover ili da se preselim u malo neki veći grad gdje ću da imam neke veće mogućnosti što se tiče koncerata i to. Ali još nisam potpuno siguran, tako da će to vjerojatno da bude onako spontano. So, he said that that uh, he's still not sure if he's going to stay in, Aust in Austria, but um, for now he's, uh, of course, uh, living there. And um, there are maybe some, some, some plans to even to return to Hanover or to Germany or, or to move to some bigger, bigger city where there are more uh, musical and, and cultural, uh, the, the, the musical and cultural scene is stronger, where there are more opportunities for concerts and so on so um, he's not sure if he's going to stay there <clears throat> but um, yes for now he's living there and um, okay. we will see and what, then, what the life brings so Jovica on your answers you say that you're not sure if you stay there or go back to Hanover but you never say to go back to Bosnia uh, why um, moguća, ali samim tim da nažalost u Bosni baš i nije tako razvijena ta neka koncertna scena klasične muzike, mislim da za mene baš nije to neko rješenje. Mislim da ovde u Austriji ili Nemačkoj imam mnogo više prilika za to. So yes, I didn't mention, I didn't say it now and I didn't mention the option of uh, going back to my home country, to Bosnia. But this is, uh, of course, always a, a possible option. And it, it is not that uh, that uh, I don't have this in, in, in view. But um, unfortunately, yes, the situation in, in, in Bosnia is uh, with, with, uh, with the music scene and, 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 and the intensity of the, of the concerts and cultural events and so on is not um, Compar comparable uh, to uh, to to in the intensity in this part of Europe, uh, Austria or, or or Germany, for example, which are kind of uh, the places where where I more more gravitate uh, because of the language and and, and study and everything. So uh, <clears throat> I think that uh, in these countries I have um, yep. maybe a bit more 
more chances for, for my musical development. That is why uh, Bosnia is, and, and at least for now, on hold, let's say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I asked the question, just to be sure about the, yeah. the answer. Yes, I understand. And so, so many people from Balkans also try to get job, of course, outside. Okay, so we will begin to listen to the music and uh, I want to say hello to the people who just joined us on the chat. Coucou, Laurence Froissart d'Amour, comment tu vas? J'espère que tu vas bien avec ton nouvel accordéon. Um, my next guest will be a genius Libyshki. Uh, sorry for the pronunciation of uh, your name because Polish language is <laughs> something like dramatic for me. Worse in German, but uh, Polish is not bad. And uh, Onin Yanyanin from your country, uh, who said Pozdrav, is Banyaluk. I think you understand. I don't. And ah, greeting from uh, Banja Luka, which is a city from Bosnia. Okay, thank you, uh, Onin, for the translation. So you will, um, we will begin to listen this uh, super medley of um, Richard Galliano, not Piazzolla. All the time make misunderstanding with uh, these two words because they are so famous and uh, so close, but very different, of course. Um, it's a medley. So as you know, today is the 31st of March, and there is a game that every week some people can win some online lessons and offer them to someone they don't like. I say all the time if they don't want. But uh, <laughs> today they have this opportunity because every week we select one and at the end of the month we make the super final with uh, all the previews selected. So uh, today they can win seminars and in June at the super, super final they can win accordion, so it's great. And um, uh, we will listen now this medley and the first question on the speed chat quiz will be quite funny. They will have to discover every titles you play. So <laughs> the one in the middle is complicated. <laughs> But uh, let's see. Okay, and uh, hello to someone from Theodorov, perhaps from Bulgaria. I don't know, I cannot read your letters. Okay, so we listen that medley, of course, composition from Richard Galliano. You are for the speech chat quiz to find the title, and we will speak about Galliano and you, Jovica Ivanovic, just after. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Something. Bravo, my friend. So, how can you explain in your pizza where, where did you find this uh, culture to play this music of Piazzolla so good with good arrangement, good improvisation, and uh, good style? Uh, from the beginning of the playing of harmonic, I was thinking that it's a national music. And that improvisation is always like prirodno dolazila iz mene jer sam to sam uvijek i volio i onda ne znam ja možda sam to i nesvjesno nisam bio ni svjestan toga da, da, da sam to eto nekako radio ni, čak to me nisam ni pridavao neku pažnju jer sam uvijek se trudio vamo da da vežemo taj naš harmonikaški repertoar koji je bio ne, koji je bio koji je uvijek ono teži i a ove stvari su nekako prirodno išle iz mene, ne znam. Go, so, 
I was waiting to see is, is it end or not. Uh, yes. <laughs> so is. he said that uh, um, uh, he he grew up uh, in this environment in, in, in Bosnia and Serbia, where is uh, folk music very very popular, and uh, the the um, Balkan folk music is uh, really uh, rich with uh, improvisation, and uh, so he he grew up with this. Um, with this uh, 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 listening to this this music with this uh, um, ideas and aesthetic and let's say so these uh, um, habits of, of improvisation listening a lot of that and playing as well uh, uh, folk music and uh, developing in that in that direction and um, of course parallel, parallel to that it was uh, the classical education in the music school and playing the the the, um, the 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 regular uh, um, uh, repertoire of the of the of the accordion accordion repertoire, which was for him always kind of uh, the serious uh, part uh, <laughs> of the of the education, and kind of that was uh, that was the main the main thing. And uh, the folk music was more for fun, and it was kind of natural. And uh, with all the development uh, that just integrated kind of uh, kind of naturally came came all of all of these these things and idea um also when uh, also in this music eh? galliano, okay. or, yeah, yeah, or, or yeah of course of and it's it's obvious because uh, the style on galliano is not that easy and especially more you go to the east and more the people are a little bit on that music and Richard Galino all the time say to himself that uh, I'm a little bit too much brutal sometimes and you say that's why people all the time try to and say yes more you go to the east and more is brutal but on your interpretation you have temperament but uh, not uh, brutality and it's um, very appreciable but I think this is not from your origin it's also from your own your own soul because when you play in general you are like that and for example the next music that will come is from uh, Piazzolla and it's with a bandoneon. So um, how did you make the jump to accordion, to bandoneon? And did you have lessons or did you do that uh, autodidact by yourself? Bandoneon sam krenuo da sviram pre otprilike godinu i po dana. A želja je uvek bila da sviram taj instrument zbog samog tog zvuka. Ali eto, zbog možda tih obaveza na fakultetu nisam ranije ni stizao, nalazio vremena za to, ali onda po završetku studija i nekog kasnije vremena, onda sam odlučio da, da kupim jedan instrument i onda uzao sam taj... Ajde, prevedi to da ne pričam mnogo sad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ok, uh, so... Uh, he said yes, uh, I started to play Vendone on one, one year and a half uh, ago, and... Uh, I like, of course, very much Piazzolla's music, and uh, I always had this wish uh, to play bandonon uh, because of that authentic sound that uh, the instrument has. And um, before I didn't, I didn't get a, a chance. Maybe I didn't had enough time to 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 do it. And um, because of, of course, other activities and plans and studies and other programs which I did. Uh, and um, um, now, when I when I finished that capital in life, uh, and uh, maybe also a bit through this Corona period, which gave everyone a bit more time, uh, <laughs> a bit more, yeah. he decided. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, um, he decided to then to buy an instrument and uh, to start uh, um, to start practicing it and and. Um, and see how it goes. So let's hear the rest of the story. Možeš da nastaviš. Ja sam da kažem da da nisam teo da ide linijom manjeg otpora, da uzeo sam taj diatonski instrument iz razloga da ne bi bio uskraćen u tom repertoaru, jer trenutno sam izabrao nekih deseta kompozicija od raznih kompozitora tango muzike i plan mi je da u nekoj skorijoj budućnosti u ovoj godini snimim jedan solo CD i sad naravno moram za to da naponovježam jer mi još nije sve to 
ni u prstima, ni u, ni u glavi. <laughs> da je potrebno, naravno. Jer je potpuno drugačije nego harmonik. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, he said, uh, of course I was considering which uh, instrument to, to buy, which, which system to buy, and uh, consulting some colleagues and uh, the, the constructor of Pandoneon and so on, and uh, researching a bit. But then he decided not to go easier way, let's say so, and to buy a chromatic Pandoneon, uh, but he decided to buy the... The, the diatonic, mm-hmm. the authentic uh, the, the diatonic system, which played also uh, um, Piazzolla and and some other uh, bandoneonists from from Argentina, and um, he decided for that move because uh, through, the, through that research, of course, he developed uh, he discovered that uh, that uh, um, if he takes the chromatic instrument, he will not be able to play all the pieces originally how they are written. <clears throat> And uh, he didn't want to be uh, kind of uh, to 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 be uh, 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 how to say um, that that he has to make arrangements of this original piece. So he, he didn't want to be kind of cut cut off in the part of of that, uh, and he wanted to be able to play it uh, uh, originally. So he decided for that move, and uh, he says. Uh, um, that um, yeah, it's still, it's still not easy. I mean, to to adapt because it's of, of course a different way of thinking and uh, different uh, way of fingerings and controlling the instrument and all together. But he has the, he said that he um, choose uh, now f- now a program of of ten pieces from Piazzolla, but also other other um, bandoneonists, uh, mostly under Argentinian and. Um, he made a program that he's uh, now preparing and planning to record a CD uh, in this year, and um, yeah, he hopes uh, to do it. <laughs> it's still it's still a work on pro- work in progress. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we will listen uh, immediately one of the most famous music of uh, Piazzolla, played by Jovica Ivanovic with the bandoneon diatonic. And uh, just before, I want to say hello to all the people who just arrived. And in Zam Narin Betov, also CMA delegate from Kazakhstan. Arlette Deschamps, my lovely mom, who is there. And uh, she just said that she loved your music. So greeting from my mom. And now she's on Facebook, so I, I need to take care about what I say because she, before she wasn't. And uh, Peter Vacek, happy birthday to you, or CME delegate from Czech Republic is also there. Ciao Antonio Ferrara uh, from Italy. And we listen now. So again, a question for the speech chat quiz. We have Madame Lolo, Laurence Froissart, who found the answer of the first question about um, uh, the first title of Medley of Galliano. And now we have a second question. What is the title of this very famous melody from Piazzolla? We listen immediately.
such a talent, uh, Iovica Ivanovic, such a melody of Piazzolla. Congratulations, my friend. And uh, yes, of course, it was this famous Adios Nonino, and it's Stefan Andrusishin who is um, uh, selected for the final of the day. Congratulations. And uh, Madame Lolo, oui, je t'explique en français. En fait, là, il va y avoir plusieurs vainqueurs de questions. Et à la fin de euh, ce Facebook Live Show, nous allons avoir euh, la personne qui va répondre le plus vite des sélectionnés pour être sélectionnée pour le mois. Et juste après, on fait la question du mois. Oui, je sais, à chaque fois, je me plante, mais j'espère que ça va marcher comme ça. Complimenti by Antonio Ferrara. Yes, of course. And good morning from Luca Bello, who is one of the selected for the month. Uh, previous winner of CMA last year and Klingenthal and many other competitions. You are genial. And Fred Rollin, salut, a long time, I didn't see you. Okay, so speaking about Piazzolla, in 2020, during the quarantine, I think you, yes, because it was from November 2020, so during the quarantine, Jovica, you had the time to create an album about Piazzolla. Da. Uh, da. To je bilo, sad izvičem kratku priču kako je do toga došlo, ovaj, 2016. godine sam se sticam okolnosti sam upoznao jednog ukrajinskog violinistu Valerija Sokolova koji je eto imao želju da svira nešto zajedno sa harmonikom jer pre toga nije imao tu mogućnost. Mm -hmm. So um, yes the story about uh, about uh, this album about this CD uh starts actually from 2016 with um with a with a very nice friendship uh, uh with uh, um, uh fame, very very good uh, ukrainian um uh, and already quite established uh, uh, violinist valery sokolov uh, they met uh, in 2016 uh, in hanover and uh, so um it was an idea and a wish actually from, from valery that uh, they play something together but because uh, so far and and they, they play maybe something from from piazzola because so far he didn't had a chance to play something with accordion so he was very excited to meet jovica and uh, and to do something with him da uh, posle toga smo nakon što smo prvi put odsvirali nešto zajedno u hanoveru to je bio oblivion uh, jedna verzija za glas i klavir mi smo odsvirali na harmonici i violini onda on je posle toga organizao dva, tri koncerta u Austriji i Nemačkoj i onda se to proširilo, onda smo krenuli da sviramo redovnije po Ukrajini i s obzirom da je to meni davalo, da sam bio ispirisan tim samim i da mi je davalo motivaciju za neki svoj dalji razvoj jer sam uvijek želeo da nekad uspem u tome da mogu da živim od svoje muzike i koncerata, jednostavno sam ga pitao kako mogu Zahvaljujući njegovom iskustvu, ja sam teo da sad znam kako mogu da, 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 da idem u, u tom pravcu. I onda mi on predložio da snimimo taj CD. Mm -hmm. So, um, first uh, kind of their uh, musical um, uh, small, small introducing or, or experience, let's say so. Uh, it was uh, just in Hanover for fun, they, they played uh, uh, Oblivion from, from uh, from Piazzolla um, with uh, accordion and violin, uh, one one version that uh, Jovica had, and um, so yeah, it was a very nice emotion and all this together, and uh, they were very happy, both of them. So and uh, Valeri, as as he was excited with this uh, music and with uh, their their um, understanding and collaboration, um, suggested that they. Um, play further uh, together and um, so several projects developed from that and they played some concerts in Austria and Germany and later on also in the, in the Ukraine and um, so yes uh, this story developed and they performed in different uh, in different formations in different ensembles uh, with, with the music of Piazzolla and uh, through this friendship uh, um, um, also, um, Yo one of Jovica's um, wish is, uh, of course, an idea and wish, and uh, is to further develop his career and to uh, um, possibly live from his music and from concert and perform performing. So, um, 
Yes, Valery as a as a as a, as a very experienced already violinist and with with a very nice career. Um, um, Jovica asked him, "What do you think should be a very good move uh, for me now to 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 get the concerts and how 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 can I reach uh, the the, the um, contacts and and, and uh, so on?" And uh, then. Then uh, uh, Valery suggested it would be very good that you record uh, one one CD and uh, make some promotional material and so on. So uh, that is how how this um, they were speaking together. What could be good to do and should it be a solo CD or, or this or that? So and in the end, they decided uh, to do together uh, this uh, CD of uh, Piazzolla and Galliano concertos. And uh, if people want to buy these CDs, we will listen just uh, a few seconds because it's not uh, exactly a video, it's just one picture and the sound, but uh, of course we can find on YouTube. If the people want to buy this CD, how can they do? CD on all the platforms, like Amazon, like Apple Music, or... Okay, Amazon, Spotify. Apple, yes, or Spotify. Yeah. Okay, Spotify, yeah. all is clear. And uh, you have a big hello from uh, Jonas Vosbutas, that little genius, uh -huh. oh, little, but now he's uh, high like that, from uh, Lithuania, of course, my friend Jonas. Hello, Jonas love you. Yeah. And uh, we listen, so one more question for the speech at quiz, it try to uh, discover the title of this famous composition of Piazzolla. Of course, let's go in just a few seconds. So be fine. <laughs> Absolutely genial interpretation and uh, with the uh, orchestra from uh, Ukraine as it's written on the CD. So peace and glory to Ukraine. Of course, we didn't say today, but we say and we will repeat again, especially with Slavic Mosaichuk from Ukraine. In Ukraine, we'll have the masterclass just after. Hello, Bernard Jojo. Salut, mon ami. And yes, wonderful. Say Laurence Froissart to your music, Jovica. So congratulations again. And we will stay on the spirit of Galliano and especially Piazzolla with another very famous composition that the people will have to discover the name on the chat, of course, for the speech chat quiz. So, as I remember, Jovica, three years ago, during the quarantine, because the CMA competition was not able to go to China, <laughs> of course, because COVID was made in China, <laughs> let's say it, <laughs> like many things. And uh, so at that time, everybody was creative and I've been creative too, saying that, okay, we cannot go to China, perhaps we go to Portugal, but in Portugal, people cannot go to school because of COVID, but they were all like that on the beach. <laughs> so I said, forget. <laughs> and I said, okay, we make CMA online. And um, I spoke with Galliano saying that it's the 70th birthday of Galliano, the 70th birthday of CMA, let's make something together. He says, yes, of course, immediately. And we created the first Trophée Mondial Richard Galliano. This year will be the third one. Uh, last uh, December was a concert of the winner of the first year in 2020, JB Baudin. It was something absolutely amazing to play with Galliano in this club in Paris. So we tried to organize a final live with the three best of the online version in Paris. Let's see, I'm thinking about, and you know, when I think about something and I begin to speak about, in general, I do. And um, you participate to this competition. So what is your feeling about this experience, about this trophée Richard Galliano? Nemam neko objašnjenje za to zašto. To se jednostavno osjetio sam ono zašto ne i to sam ju radio. <laughs> Nemam sam neko spreće objašnjenje za to. Kako ti je ostalo iskustvo? To je također bilo pitanje. Kako ti je, kako ti je osjećaj na, prema tom iskustvu što je, ko, koje je bilo na tom natjecanju? Pa iskustvo mi je. Uh, Ako bud, da bi bio sad iskren, jer večer pred emitovanje uh, tog takmičenja 
ja sam se otro, ja sam jeo sam neke e, špagete sa tunjevinom koje su vjerojatno nisu bile ispravni, onda završio sam ta, i u bolnici, tako da i sljedeći dan mi je bilo u potpunosti loše i imao sam vrtoglavicu i, i kad je krenulo emitovanje tog takmičenja, sjećam se da uopšte nisam mogao ni da vidim ekran dobro jer bi se toliko <laughs> Ali naravno, bio sam srećan da sam učestvao u tome i, i zadovoljstvo sam, da, naravno. <laughs> ok. So yeah, he said that uh, yeah, it was altogether all very crazy and he found out uh, about, about this competition from me uh, and it was, uh, as we all remember, uh, also uh, quite uh, uh, spontaneously uh, um, and, and, and it was a short short time to 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 consider that and uh, he had to uh, decide to take part and uh, to decide what to play and to record it and he didn't have a, a recording from before so he, he prepared the recording for that uh, competition so it was a uh, altogether a bit uh, stressy but but he said uh, yeah it is a very nice occasion and i i like this uh, music very much and uh, it is it would be why 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 not to try and to present myself a bit and uh, um express my views maybe of this um, of this music and just just try to try to try to do do something and uh, so he decided he managed to to record it and, and, and send it and all together and uh, as you as you asked it uh, uh, that part how was his experience and feeling about this competition and so on he said uh, um, well uh, there is a, a crazy anecdote about um, about the competition of course it was uh, some days of, of uh, uh, um, this uh, w- waiting until this category comes uh, uh, to that and actually the evening when it was uh, or one, one, one day before, if I understood good, one day before um, the competition, uh, unfortunately, he got uh, food poison. Uh, and and it was, he was really bad and uh, he ended up in the, in the hospital and all together. So on the day of the competition, he just uh, came back from the hospital and he was all fuzzy. And uh, he's, he says, I remember I was very happy to be selected for the finals and excited about that but he said it's all together like half in the in the dream i yeah, i, I couldn't really see clearly the, the the screen and hear all what is going on so it was some some really crazy experience but i, I i'm still very glad that i did it and yeah yeah, and you had a good idea to do it because because of that we met even on Facebook and now we speak together because we met on Facebook and uh, as you know that it's now live on Facebook but also in YouTube and this video will stay for years in YouTube and in my page so we never know what can happen. Mm-hmm. That is great, especially now with uh, all his social media. So it's uh, absolutely great. So we will listen that very famous title of Piazzolla. The people for the speech at quiz can try to discover. It will not be easy because um, Jovica Ivanovic is very creative. So from the beginning, this kind of improvisation, perhaps with melism from Bosnia. So it's not clear what he will play from the beginning, but <coughs> one moment we know. So let's discover this title.
That was shortest. Découvrez la saison 2022 de Chine. Sorry, I was looking at YouTube and, and uh, okay, it arrives the end. So I think everybody recognize that title. I receive a message from Sandro Saulich, I'm sure from your country, who say Bok Yozip Sliyeptevic. What does this mean? I think it's a name. Yosip uh, Yosip Sliyeptevic. It's uh, one accordionist. Ah, okay. One. And Bok, yeah. B-O-K, what means? Bok is the high. <laughs> ah, okay. So I'll just speak together. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt your discussion on the chat. Hi, Yosip. <laughs> and we have Pascal yeah. Savar who said to us, hello to everybody. It's wonderful. Pascal Savar is um, the presenter of a very famous French TV show and he's here with us and he says that it's wonderful. And um, yeah, uh, Pascal, perhaps we'll try to bring this uh, uh, Jovica Ivanovic in France for this TV show. Let's see. You see, we never know. <laughs> That's why we are there. Okay, so Piazzolla Galliano enough now, and we change world. You change. You sent to me a very nice video from uh, Kurt Weill music that I never heard Kurt Weill music, so it was great. <laughs> it's a singer and uh, you, so can you speak about this uh, experience? To je bilo u vreme kada sam živeo u Salzburgu. U Salzburgu sam bio dve godine i slučajno sam upoznao ovu pevačicu koja me zamolila da svira na njenom ispitu master studija i Tako je krenula ta neka saranja dok sam bio tamo. Nažalost, nismo mnogo koncerata svirali, jer sam ja posle otišao iz Salzburga, ali nikad se ne zna, možda se ponovo nekad sreka. So yes, about this experience, it was shortly after he came to live in Austria, and he was living in Salzburg for two years, for two years at the moment, and he met this singer you will uh, see in this video and uh, it was um, actually she asked him if they if they could play uh, something for her chamber music uh, exam uh, on the, on the, on the for, for her master studies and um, so they did uh, they did this uh, some 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 uh, different different pieces and uh, this is how it developed uh, uh, that, that is uh, their their first experience, and um, that uh, how how it came to the idea maybe to uh, develop the, the whole program together and uh, to make some some uh, uh, promotional material about for it. And he said, unfortunately, we didn't um, play a lot of concerts together because um, later he moved uh, away from from Salzburg and. Uh, so now it was, of course, COVID and all together, but you never know. Uh, it is uh, maybe we will get back together again and, and have, have some, some, some new chances to, to uh, revive the duo, let's say so. Great. So we will listen immediately that the title, the name of this music. Uh, you remember the name? Because I just have Kurt Weil, Speak Low. Ah, Speak Low. That's the title from Jobitsa. And the girl is Julia Lechner. Let's listen immediately. <laughs>
Oh yeah, and you have so many great comments on the chat from uh, Saline Svergela, a French uh, accordionist and singer who is very talented, who just uh, say, um, I don't know. Ah yes, he say uh, hello Fred, um, congratulations to uh, you, uh, Yavitsa, it's uh, absolutely good, c'est bon ça. And uh, from Stefan Androsichin who live in um, UK, incredible, his combination works so well with his wife and uh, he make also arrangement on opera areas also. And Fred Roland from France, such a beautiful duet with a uh, lyrical spirit, um, it match magnifically good. And uh, Salim, yes, it's great again, so okay, it match. Uh, that was uh, the, nearly the last the last uh, music you sent to me because uh, you also sent to me one a little bit more uh, folk that I want to keep for the end of the live show. So this is our end of interview. Uh, thank you so much for being with me today. Igor Chrisman, my international uh, collaborator for the CMA Orchestra and Ensemble. You know that we have a lot of work to do soon, so we will keep in touch the next days. Thank you for your very nice and efficient translation. I hope to see you very soon. You spoke about the uh, Croatia um, um, festival soon. Where can you speak about this uh, festival that we are in Pula, no? Yes, yes, yes. The festival is coming back after the COVID break and it's, uh, uh, we got some confirmation. So it will definitely be held uh, 24th to 27th of May. Uh, it was usually before the COVID, it was end of April. So now we move to end of May. It's going to be even nicer weather. And uh, yeah. I think uh, 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 really uh, be to be back with uh, with all of great friends and great people. Yes, so uh, it's, good, it's good to postpone <laughs> a little bit just to let the time to COVID to come back to. <laughs> because yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know yes, how yes. is it uh, now in Croatia and uh, in Germany, but in France, COVID is... <laughs> In Germany is also horrible. In Croatia is a bit better, uh, but it's uh, still not, uh, of course, um, completely safe. Yeah. Okay, but let's see. Anyway, uh, let's see. But the, the 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 events are open. The, the events are, are happening, and uh, uh, we hope that even the situation with COVID will be better until the end of May, as it was uh, uh, in last couple of years, last two years. And uh, uh, in the same time, yeah, uh, uh, the the regulations uh, even now at the moment allow uh, uh, events to to happen. Uh, so yeah, great. We, I, I, we hope at least this this is going to stay, and with all the measures that uh, uh, it's it's not going to be uh, blocked uh, uh, through this uh, kind of official official decisions. So yeah, let's see. But anyway. we with the best hope uh, we prepare it, and uh, everyone are very welcome. <laughs> okay, Super. yes, but in France it's also the same now, uh, everything is cool, you don't need the mask, you don't need anything, but it's just because we have a presidential election in a few weeks, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> but <laughs> Who knows when it's going just to be after, after yeah. that, yeah. go home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, well. but let's see, anyway, we will speak, we will make some uh, special event to present Pula, of course, live on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Jovica right. Ivanovic. Uh, I love your music. Thank you to be there. And um, we cross the fingers for the evolution of your career. All the time you have something new, send to me, I will share. Okay? Hvala puno, Federic, na pozivu i pozdrav svim našim pratijacima. Svjetno sve. I hvala puno, Igore, za pre... Nema na čemu. So he said... Uh, uh... Thank you very much, Frederick, for, for the invitation, and uh, it was a great pleasure, and uh, many greetings uh, to all the accordionists and all the followers around the world. Okay, so bye-bye, my friends. Like traditionally, I let you go out alone from Zoom, and uh, see you very soon, live or online. So now we will go uh, in France. There is a big festival uh, in France now with um, uh, Christian Delacour. Christian Delacour qui est là. Et... We will speak French a little bit. OK, Salim, on va parler en français, ça ne te dérange pas. Salut Christian, tu es online. Ne dis pas de gros mots. Salut Igor, ciao Igor. Christian, hop, bravo. C'est bon. Ouais, on te voit. Voilà, c'est bon. C'est bon. Moi aussi, je t'entends. 
Eh ben écoute, c'est super, alors vas-y, mais alors comment ça se passe à Rouen Il y a un peu de gens ou c'est parce que c'est le début ou comment ça se passe Ben écoute, euh, ben aujourd'hui, euh, il y a vraiment beaucoup de monde, hein. c'est très remuant, disons, et il y a beaucoup de gens intéressés sur les accordéons, ça fait plaisir parce qu'on voit que c'est pas un instrument qui est oublié, au contraire, beaucoup de gens nous contactent ben, pour voir un petit peu les nouveautés, et puis pour voir beaucoup aussi pour les réparations, les accords, euh, c'est vrai que maintenant en France, on n'est pas nombreux, mais voilà, ça fait vraiment plaisir de, et ça fait chaud au cœur que l'instrument toujours soit d'activité. Eh ben écoute, ça me fait très plaisir. Euh, cette, euh, cette fois, on fait des, des opérations un peu particulières. Je vais en présenter une de, de petite opération qu'on a sur un Fun Musette, donc euh, la nouvelle gamme Fun Musette 96, donc un trois bois Musette. Hein, donc. Euh, voilà, vraiment l'accordéon de balle par excellence. Ça, on le fait exceptionnellement à 8 990. Donc, ça fait vraiment une très, très belle remise. On est à pratiquement 2000 euros de remise. 2000 euros de remise. Donc, répète les prix parce que du coup, euh, ça a un tout petit peu coupé au moment du parler de la chose importante. Ah, ça y est, ça a coupé. Voilà, on parle, on, on parle business d'un coup, il euh, n'y a plus personne. Quoi. Ah ben voilà. Euh, Christian, tu nous reviens. C'est 10 720. Oui. Oui. 10 720 bon. Maintenant voilà. 8 990. Ah, d'accord. D'accord. De 10 700, il est passé à 8 900, donc c'est près de 2 000 euros d'économie. Bravo Exactement, c'est ça. Voilà. Tout à fait. Bon. Eh ben, écoute, c'est une très très belle opération. Donc vas-y, présente-nous également les modèles qu'il y a sur, ton, sur ton, ton, ta magnifique, ton magnifique stand, parce que là, tu as vraiment toute la gamme. Ah bah là on a toute la gamme, donc le fun musette. Oui. Et voilà. On entend bien qu'il est musette. Un petit fun light, hein. donc est en promotion aussi. D'accord. Euh, toute la petite gamme Nova, c'est-à-dire le Nova 80, Nova 60, Nova 40. Ouais. Et puis le petit bébé. Le ah, donc, baby. Lui, il se vend très très oui. bien. Bah, je suis vraiment satisfait. Le petit XS, voilà. Eh, voilà. Oui, oui, Et là oui. euh, vraiment il y, a un, il y a un bon accueil sur ce produit. Tout à fait. Puis il a des très belles bases, comme dirait Slavik Mosaïtchuk. Exactement. Après, bien sûr, ton nouveau bébé. Ah oui Voilà. Voilà. Ah oui, oui Le fameux Funwood. Le fameux Funwood Mais je, je me suis remis à jouer un petit peu d'accordéon depuis que j'ai le Funwood, dis donc. Ouais, je sais. Il a, on, on prend vraiment beaucoup de plaisir sur cet instrument. Hein. Et oui, oui, bien sûr. Alors, c'est vrai que la première réaction, je te l'avais dit, j'avais été un peu surpris par l'enfoncement, mais dès que tu le maîtrises au bout d'une heure, c'est vraiment un vrai bonheur. Quoi. Oui, monsieur. C'est pour ça qu'il est fait comme ça. Ah. Et oui, parce que j'en voilà. profite, voilà. profite juste, Christian. J'en profite juste. Christian, tu m'entends Oui, je t'entends. Oui. oui, je profite juste pour donner une information supplémentaire sur le Funwood, effectivement. Donc, je vais le montrer en, en, en direct. Mais en fait, l'épaisseur du clavier... Elle est vraiment très courte la course pour permettre de ne pas s'enfoncer. I just explained that uh, the, the depth of the keyboard is very small. It's a 3-4 mm maximum. Then less you go down, less you lose time. Less you go down, less you move your fingers. And then you are uh, much more control of your fingers and you are more speed and you have more time to control your release. Ok, voilà, donc ça c'était la petite information. Hein, pourquoi est-ce que les claviers sont courts C'est pour ne pas faire d'erreur. Euh, c'est comme si on court dans la neige, et bien forcément on lève plus les jambes et on tombe. Hein, par, euh, ah. ça, la, ça lui me fait bien déjà ça, parce qu'on fait ça à terminer aussi. Euh, oui, et Laurence Froissart me dit Funwood, plus de vélocité. Waouh, Lolo, eh, Lolo. Ah oui, Lolo, 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 Lolo. Voilà, donc tu voulais finir donc, sur le, le Fun Musette, l'opération sur ce magnifique modèle Fun Musette. Oui. Donc, qui est normalement pour catalogue. Le Fun Pro 96. Ah, pardon, le Fun Pro 87. Bah oui, mais il a la même couleur, alors j'ai pas vu. <rire> voilà, c'est ça, c'est pour ça. Le Fun Musette, il est là, voilà. Il est vraiment magnifique. Hein. Tout à fait. Donc, ça, c'est l'opération du jour. Euh, 2000 euros de moins sur le Fun Musette, qui était à 10 700 et qui passe à 8 900, à peu près. En sachant qu'on est, on est toujours ouvert à des reprises, si quelqu'un veut changer, on reprend aussi les anciens accords. Eh oui, ça c'est important. And I speak also for the international uh, people who are still there, that uh, this music shop can sell abroad too and can take back uh, some instruments uh, to, uh, of course, it's, uh, I don't know how we say in English, but uh, in reprise in France. And um, so he can make a very nice prices, as you know. 
And this is very important to know. Ok, bah Christian, je te donne rendez-vous euh, la semaine prochaine, je sais pas quand. Tu es à, à Rouen jusqu'à quand, toi Voilà. Tu es à Rouen jusqu'à ah bah, quand Ça s'arrête dimanche soir. D'accord, ben on se reverra pas avant. Dimanche soir. On se reverra pas avant dimanche parce que moi samedi dimanche je suis au dada. <rire> voilà. Ok, et eh ben on ah, se voit bah oui. la semaine prochaine <rire> alors. Allez. Ok, et eh ben au revoir, à merci beaucoup. À la semaine beaucoup. prochaine. À Allez, la semaine, semaine prochaine. Bye merci, bye. Merci, à bientôt. Voilà, donc c'était Christian de la Cour, clé de sol shop.fr, clé sans accent. Et là maintenant, nous allons attaquer la pédagogie. We go back in English with the pédagogie with my friend Slavik Mosaychuk. I just have to call him on Skype. You know that melody. Pom, ti, pom. Slavik Mosaychuk, my friend, my brother from Ukraine. Hello, I am always happy to see you. Me too. Yeah, but it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, question that I always ask you when we begin this Facebook Live, not about music. Uh, what is the situation in Ukraine? Something new, important news or still the same shit or what's happening? Uh -huh. Somewhere in some places is better, uh, somewhere is still bad, uh, but in general, uh, yeah, war is continue, shit is continue, shit unfortunately. Is... Okay, so we all follow news, of course, from worldwide and uh, on YouTube and uh, everywhere, um, but I think in Ukraine you have more precise information, so Did you heard about this negotiation, this meeting in Turkish with uh, Ukraine and Russia? Did you heard about something? What is what you heard from your country? Yeah, we heard something, but uh, I don't know if, if we, this meeting have uh, some big result for a moment. Because, you know, it's not the first meeting they meet every week, I don't know, and, uh, and still the same. So maybe this time it will be some result, but for the moment, uh, no. Okay. Okay. So for the moment, no, nothing new and nothing more going on the direction of the hope that it will stop soon. Uh, something could go, but uh, you know, uh, information is different. Uh, somewhere they uh, came back, somewhere they again uh, uh, put the rockets and uh, Okay, so uh, we will speak again next time, hoping okay. that everything will be better. So let's go to uh, your music, my friend, and Salim Svajela, yes, liberty for Ukraine, of course, peace and glory. Amour, gloire et beauté for Ukraine. We are, of course, full of solidarity. So, Zubitsky, uh, which part you want to play? You play what you want anyway, you do always what you want. Uh, second part, I think uh, page 135, uh, last line, where oh. we finish last time. Okay, it's good. It's exactly the page I have in front of me. Ah, <laughs> okay. It's that one. So it's 135, yes, it's that one, and uh, it's the end. Okay, I'm listening to you. I stop you not because I don't want to listen to you, okay? It's just because you know that the sound uh, in Skype is absolute pizdiets when we play, okay? So um, it doesn't work to play a long things, but we can absolutely understand for the technique and for the articulation what to do or not what to do. 
So, uh, we will go back from the exact beginning and uh, last time and from the beginning we speak on this jazz partita number one from Vladimir Zubitsky. I respect everything on that title, expect the composer, of course, but I like the word jazz and I know that the jazz is not the same jazz in Ukraine <laughs> than in Europe and in United States, of course, because jazz comes from there. And sometimes more it goes to the east, more it loses some information, which is normal. And it's the same with everything. So it's not uh, your fault at all. Let's try to keep it a little bit more jazz, OK? Uh, from Especially from the beginning, uh, right here, when you do So can you sing it for me, please, just to be sure to know what you feel? Ah, there's a pam pam. It is not that. <laughs> no, because for jazz we need, and I will repeat to you all the time, and I know it's not in your culture, of course, because your power is uh, your culture. But now you want to play something from another style, from another culture. So we need to move like they move. And last time I repeat that uh, we speak about America, and I say, yeah, I'm going to make America, I don't understand knowing. You know that they speak like if they have some gum in the mouth sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And, and we don't understand nothing. And the move is there. So, um, tam, pa, ta, 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 pa, ta, pa, pa. the name is Syncope. Syncope, it's uh, just to move before. Okay. Uh, I will just show you on the. Um, let's try to take the, the third bar of the last uh, line, uh, which is. <laughs> Look. Just move before. No, you 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 do that. You move the accent come from your left arm. It's not the left arm who makes the accent. It's your body who need to move before. Okay, just before the sound, so is. Okay, it's, now it's good, but all the time you do good the beginning of the sound, you kill a little bit the end of the sound because now you understand that to have this result, you need to move before, so. But we need to have the resonance. Oui, Laurent Froissart, les belles syncopes. Tu la sens, la belle syncope? Ah, yeah, because now I see on your body that you do that. And that sound, you know all the time the movement makes the sound. So if you do that, we have ah. But if you do that, we have ah. And it's exactly the resonance of the sound of the jazz. Yeah, but at the beginning you don't have the time, so it's uh, and it's ok. Gros bisous, Isabelle Royer. Salut, maman Royer. Je vois que tu viens d'arriver. Je te fais un gros bisou. Ok, so that's much better. Can you make a like sfardando subito piano crescendo on the beginning of the do? That makes exactly the same effect of like on the big band. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's the same movement is go, stop, begin piano. I want a zero. I want go, zero, come back. Uh, you need to stop exactly when the sound arrives. You must be more fast to stop. It may be E-R. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you did it, but the sound of the next crescendo must come from zero. So stop it totally. Yes. 
yes, yes, yes. And now, of course, but even me, I didn't have perfectly, but now after that, you, you need to find the exact pianissimo from the beginning and no e, but im. Okay, so. Yeah, so take your time. Now I did it, take your time. Okay, and uh, what do you do with this? Uh, this last bar of the line of the line. Uh, beat on switch. Ah, uh, beat on switch. I don't know if you see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, two, and uh, two. Yeah, just make six like on the rhythm. Bam, 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 bam. On the rhythm, pam 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 pam. Okay, okay. Depend of the rhythm, uh, general of the tempo you play, but yes, it's okay. Okay, don't uh, uh, just to make an effect. Okay, and you can make also on that rhythm. Ta 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 ta. -ta. Hello, Roman Didik. Dadak, Didik. I never know how to say your name. <laughs> So try, try again. Yeah, yeah, but don't be like. Uh, be more. Yes, okay, that attitude. And after. Uh, so you, you see what I did? I, I make. Okay, try to do it very slow, very slow to have the time to move before and stop the bello totally after. Merci uh, Salim. Okay. Quel pédago extraordinaire, ce semeur de graines de Frédéric Deschamps. <laughs> graines Deschamps. Yeah, and try to have more independent sound because I still feel that it's normal because look, I, I showed the people here it's written legato that legato is not legato, okay? Mustn't exist legato because it's like after you play piazzole no it's okay separate sounds again Yeah, it's too much. I want. Ah, because you need to stop your bellow on the D flat. Okay, and uh, Genius Liebieski, sorry for your name, say, don't think, feel. Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The only problem is the movement makes the sound. So uh, you should think first about the movement you will do and after feel it. <laughs> I think there is both for everything. Okay, now let's go back to the next, uh, just, uh, ah yeah, the glissando. The, when you make glissando, it's rally. Okay, it's, uh, it's not like, it's rally like a bow. Yeah, and what I like, it's written double forte. But what I like when it's written double forte is to play subito piano. <laughs> After double forte. Now you begin like it's written. Uh, so I don't see what's on the left. One second. So it's written B A D flat. No B flat. Okay, whatever. It's written that. Sorry, I have a lot of sound there. It's written that. Yeah, but do it like with at the beginning of the glissando, make piano and glissando. So play loud before. Yeah, yeah, just to have exactly the glissando like. Okay, Bravissimo. Okay, yes, but be careful after you make. Now is okay. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay, okay. And the left hand, which is uh, D flat and uh, B flat, try to make. Because now you can, you can, you have a. Okay. But because at the fast tempo, you will not be able to do it. But do it slow, and it will remain a little bit for the fast tempo. Okay? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, ah, and this. It's... Okay? You need to move before. Legato, but it's not staccato. It's like wind monophonic instrument, saxophone. Okay, otherwise we lose totally the jazz. You do that articulation very good in Scarlatti. You do everywhere on the Cantiliana. You do very good, but here, unfortunately, you feel too much this aggressivity of the general spirit of this Zubiskipi. So, be more uh, slowly will be. Okay, something more cool. Exactly that one. That is great. Be careful to not be blocked totally with your mouse because when you begin to play, I see. So when you do that, you block your whole body. So be, be more relaxed. Yes, finally, finally, yeah, wow, that is great. Okay, after it's all the same style, now let's go to the end of um, this page 137 and play this... Uh -huh. um, Second bar, third bar, then fourth bar. I will show now that bar. Yeah, yeah, that that one. <laughs> much better because um, this week you sent to me uh, like we, we like to practice together you sent to me on messenger and video and say friend it's PGS, I don't know what to do and I say okay no problem I am on my horse and you listen to clunk 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 and I say okay do this that, and that and it works and I do this with all my students when they have a problem and they don't lose time the problem is on that part here it's not easy to do. And the important thing there, when you make the triplet, the important is the number two. So take that bar, the second line, the last bar, or the two last bars, when you have the triplets. Yeah. And you should feel the ti da di din da di din da di din da di. No, 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 you did tan tin ta da tin ta da ti. Feel the exact repeat tan tin da in da din da in da din da. It's like metronome, all is the same length. Okay, mm -hmm. because your body push you to make one shorter and this longer, and then you are not regular. You see, temptation is very hard to stop, stop, stop the the tin tan ta tin tan ta ti, and is tin tan ta ti, and be careful. Now you do too much tin tan ta ti tan ta ti is tin tan ta ti tan ta ti tan ta ti. The same, like violinists go until the end of the sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, and there is something that I I see all the time with strong boys, you know, when you make a, an effect, as is that, look, like, it's not logical if you want to do something. You, you must do your accordion in one line, because if you do, you lose every contact and, and every regularity. So be sure that when you do that, you fix the leg here on the point of your accordion and you are in one line, not horizontal, that way, mm. okay? And when you come back, don't feel to go back with your arm on your left parallel or never on your left up because this is what we do and that's why we push your accordion down is open and when you close, you close left down to your leg. Okay. That is much regular, much better, my friend. Okay, so that is one of the very big problem on this kind of effect. I am still not convinced about um, the bar, uh, first line, the bar, three and four and five before the triplet you are not regular you make that in tie that in tie that is that in tie that in tie that in tie that absolutely regular try again and go until the end absolutely end of sound on that part <laughs> I listen tan tin ta ta tin ta ta tin ta ta is tan tin ta ta tin ta ta tin ta ta tin Okay and now try to avoid try to cancel the accent of your coming and opening make one global full sentence with nice spirit of legato all the time we want to play aggressive belloshek you need to think beautiful legato i know it's contrast but why if you think to make aggressive the effect of belloshek you will give too much power and you will have always a disequilibre how much you pull and how much you pull so how much you pull and push yeah so Forget that. The dynamic of your sentence comes from the dynamic of the way it's written and the effect of the bellow shake. But don't make additional accents when you open and close. Try again. Okay. And more you go down, more your face go down. It's logic. But uh, you know I'm not that normal and logic my friend if you go down here you should go up why because if you go down and at the same time go down you push your keyboard down but if you go down and at the same time you go up your arm will stay at the right place and you will go and do that the more you go there the more you have power okay the more you are in the tension with your career if you do that you block the bellow Okay. You don't miss one at the end. I don't remember. No, it's perfect. It's good. Bravo. Okay. Um, continue. Più mosso con brio. Okay, okay, Skype don't like at all that part, but uh, we like. Uh, do, no problem, I, I, I need the right face. So. Um, yeah, um, is here difficult to speak about jazz because it's written like 
Okay. Um, I don't want that you play something like. Uh, okay. Uh, so what is uh, do re? I don't see. Okay. Right. It's uh, which key? G. I have perfect glasses, but if I'm not at the right distance, I don't see. So, okay. Okay. So. I don't expect something like no he is go 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 but uh, when you have these chords okay here you can ta 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 try just that line second line uh, third bar yeah yeah here you must pam 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 pam. You must don't make accent with your arm, but move with your shoulder. Up. Try again. Okay. Very good. After is the same style, exactly the same style. Okay. Take that part. Um, Okay, you lose power again on your chaining of bellow. Here you have short chaining of bellow, very intelligent chaining of bellow. Is keep the tension on your shoulders, on your accordion. Be a little bit here if you want, not like that, but like that. But when you come back, I don't want to see this accordion moving because two things. At the moment of the changing of direction, there is one very short, half second perhaps less, that the sound inside don't move because the accordion is moving. So you don't make, but you do. You see the difference? Like I do. But if I do, you have a, uh, there is a small part and you lose the intensity of, the, of that moment. So it's ta 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 da 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 And before you change the bellow, pull more. Okay, and I want to see your left shoulder dancing, but dancing before the accents, not on the accent. Yeah, but your whole body must be more flexible. And your face must be like, I play jazz. Okay, it's not like, ooh, I play jazz. Okay, so I think there is small irregularity, but not because of you, just because of Skype. But, uh, okay, I repeat that you open, you close, one straight bellow, okay? No more, uh, not at all movement. And there is a very good exercise for that. You play the, um, uh, okay. Uh, and before you come back, you stop, you push. But I don't want to see that, so you make. I push now, but you don't see. I push. I push. Okay, and don't move the accordion. You understand? Yes. Okay. Try to do that exercise now. You pull, stop, push, stop. But when I you stop, change after uh, the first sound of next bar. Yeah, I know, but I was too lazy to go until the end, so ah, I show. Okay. I, I show you short, Malinki, my friend. <laughs> Okay, when you do when you do this exercise, do it with, when you do this exercise, do it with right hand and left hand. Yeah. Okay. Salut Guillaume de Bon. Okay. Uh, important is accordion doesn't move. Okay. Salut yeah. Guillaume. Uh, yeah. Il faut, faut que tu me dises pour uh, comment on fait pour mon. <laughs> Mon, mon, mon truc pour les papas à mes chevaux. Uh, so that was great. I just see. Ah, can you play the two last lines of that movement from the padim padim padam padim padam padam? Oh. 
Okay, my friends. So, this da da pa da pam pam. I really want to listen something like. Right, <laughs> with more sound. Uh, one second. So, something like. Um, not. But. Okay, nearly we don't listen. It's not. But. Little bit something. Pa pi pa pa. Yes, that's much better. And after, of course, here is long life. Okay, do again that. Be careful to not move the accordion when you make the effect. When you came back with a chord, uh, what is this? Okay, and when you come back that, look. So, pardon. Uh, I'm not fixed on the back, so the instrument move, and it must absolutely not move. But when you make this big effect, be sure we have this big silence, okay? I still play. I will show the left hand. I make. I stop. I stop my bellow, but the resonance continues. And at the end, take out your fingers, okay? So I will do it. I do again. Is and don't go on your right. Go on your left because I want the sound out. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Yes, and be careful that you need to take out your fingers one second before the. Okay, ah. because if you do at the same time, a small part of second will listen now, the beginning of the stop of the reeds. But on the same time, I, what I. Look, it's. Okay, at the end it goes there, but because I'm not fixed, okay? But I took out my fingers before. So, hop, and after you have that. Okay. Exactly. Bravissimo. Okay, my friend. So, that's all for today. Um, see you next week. Continue to practice. Uh, third movement, you know? Third movement, uh, yes. So, okay. yes. uh, when you can, you can make perhaps a, a, a short video of some parts that we will practice. And the fact you make some video, you can begin to play a little bit and then we can listen with good sound what you do. Okay. Uh, so my video of the uh, second part of uh, what we will practice. Second part, a part of the second part, a uh, part of beginning of the third one, or as you want, just to have something cool. Okay. So, uh, I will say you goodbye because uh, I, from the first week, uh, you are not my guest from the pedagogy, you played the game. So, you are selected with Daniel Roth, Dimitar Rogacev from Bulgaria, Theodor Marino from Bulgaria, Luca Bello from uh, Slovenia, Italy, Italy, um, and uh, Slavic Mosechus from <laughs> Ukraine. Peace and glory to Ukraine. So, these are the people selected. Now, I will ask a question for the day because there is a selected of the day and after that, but you are already selected. So now you can leave and take back your connection for the Facebook live and uh, try to be the first to answer first to answer the question that I have to find. <laughs> I still don't know. Um, go. Thank you. Bravo. Continue okay, to practice. You. Goodbye. And we are all with you, my friend. Thank ciao, you. ciao. So as a speech quiz, I repeat that the people can win. Uh, Today, I will ask a question now, and uh, uh, the question I will ask in French and English, because I know that Madame Lulu is playing, don't understand English, so I will ask uh, in French and English. It's a question about my first guest, the first one who answer now. Uh, but it's now just Madame Lulu or Stéphane Andrew Sichin. <laughs> so, uh, Stéphane, I will say first in French, because uh, <laughs> she's a little bit slow, okay? But, uh, I, and uh, perhaps she will not know. Um, what is, so the 
Stefan or Madame Lolo, the other you can play if you want and to help them, but Stefan or Madame Lolo uh, need to find the answer at this question. Uh, what is the nationality of my guest, Jovica Ivanovic? What is his nationality? So take a few times that the sound arrive to your computer and answer me. Quelle est, uh, pardon, quelle est la nationalité de mon invité, j'ai glissé en français. La nationalité de l'invité que j'ai eu avant, Jovica Ivanovic, Madame Lolo. Si tu as la réponse, écris vite. Voilà, nationalité. Et euh, donc la personne qui va me répondre des deux, Bosnie, Laurence Froissart, je ne crois pas. Donc Laurence Froissart. Tiens, non, ah, Stéphane. No, Croatian was the translator, sorry. Yeah, you were not there from the beginning. He said he's from Bosnia. It's written on Facebook everywhere, my friend. OK. Yeah, I know, but in Braille, you can see, you know, not see, but touch. Um, OK, so. But Stefan, you can play next week, okay? Madame Lolo, you join the list. Alors, Madame Lolo, it's written. So the selected for this final who will win now a seminar, one week seminar with me. Donc là, les gens qui vont répondre à la question vont gagner une semaine en stage avec moi. So we'll win a, a week of seminar. The, the cost is 550 euros, all including, of course, lessons of accordion uh, one morning and one evening with me, uh, living in the house and um, eating and drinking. French wine. Uh, it's a joke. Question. So I need to find a question about uh, the Facebook live show. You know that I never prepare. Madame Lolo, I will say in French. Je vais le dire en français aussi. Uh, ah. Every, every time I make Facebook live show, on a Facebook live show, I have a first video. À chaque fois que je fais un Facebook live show, je commence avec une vidéo, toujours la même. That video is from Ukraine. Cette vidéo est from est, est Ukraine. I want the title and composer, le titre et la composition de cette... Bravo. OK, so we have... <laughs> yes, Vyacheslav Mostaychuk is from Ukraine and you know it. <laughs> Bravo. That is great. OK, so uh, Vyacheslav, of course, first, then people. And nobody but anyway, so Vyacheslav, it's you. Uh, I say to you, Goodbye. That was the first final of the month. Then next month, begin next week, we will have four or five Facebook live show for the month and have another um, final. Okay. Bye bye to everybody. Peace and glory to Ukraine. And thanks to uh, our guest, uh, uh, Jovica Ivanovic and Slavik Mosaychuk for this brilliant lesson. Bye bye. Yes, Luca Bello, Vladimir Zubisky, Omaggio has top piazzola. Yes, uh, it's, um, but it, <laughs> you are second. <laughs> but uh, next month you can play again. Bye bye to everybody. Ah, to finish, Jovica uh, Ivanovic playing. Uh, um, music from his country, Balkan music with a friend with cello. <laughs>